Hello and welcome back to you to today's VOD Weekend Broadcast. As always, on a Saturday, we're having a detailed look for the week ahead. There's quite a bit of uncertainty about this broadcast, particularly for the middle and latter stages of the week. Just this morning, really, the GFS has started to latch on to the possibility of another spell of very warm weather later in the week and may be triggering some big thunderstorms as well. However, the ECWF is not really going for this at the moment, so it makes the weekend forecast a little bit tricky, but we're going to go with the GFS, um, purely because that's the model that we use for the weekend forecast, but bear in mind, from around Wednesday onwards, quite a bit of uncertainty in terms of what's going to happen. Uh, later on today, we'll have uh, Terry Scully's uh, forecast for July, so that'll be coming up for you uh, this season. That should be quite an interesting read. And of course, tomorrow, it's the big one, is the NAO forecast for the winter of 2017-2018. The very, very first sort of snapshot uh, of uh, where we're going to start from in terms of building up the picture for the winter. So that will be with you um, tomorrow at the website. No Gasworth is Sunday Roundup tomorrow because of the NAO uh, forecast. I want to clear the decks and uh, leave away clear for uh, that NAO forecast to be released tomorrow. So there won't be a Gasworth is Sunday uh, Roundup. I uh, just say websites using four weekend broadcasts coming from the weatheroutlook.com and wetsec.d. You can find links to both those websites on the links page. This is the radar picture. Not a great deal to be seen, really. A lot of dry weather across the country today, although there is a little bit of showery rain across Scotland coming down into Northern Ireland. That will be moving southwards and eastwards into this afternoon and this evening. It looks very sporadic and patchy, but there's a few heavier bursts, particularly to the southwestern part of Scotland. Here's the stock pressure chart today, and high pressure is in control of the weather to the southwest, although we've got this weak weather front coming down from the northwest. So, for England and Wales, we're going to have plenty of dry weather through the course of this afternoon with a mix of sunny spells and variable cloud. There might be a scattered shower bubbling up here and there, but I would have thought most places are likely to stay dry. Scotland and Northern Ireland will have that band of cloud and patchy showery rain and that's going to gradually spread down in towards parts of northwest England by the end of this afternoon. Really is very showery in nature so even across parts of western Scotland and Northern Ireland uh, some places will miss this and stay dry altogether. Temperatures ranging from around 15 to uh, 22 degrees, not too far from the average, uh, to be honest. Overnight tonight, we'll take a band of very showery rain, uh, probably only light and drizzly stuff by the time it gets into the southeast, but we'll take that southwards and eastwards across England and Wales. Again, could be a heavier shower somewhere across South Wales, southwestern England. But once more, I think we have a lot of dry weather overnight. And things turn drier behind that band of showers across the northern half of the country. Although showers will probably continue across parts of western Scotland uh, through the course of the night. Temperatures will be quite fresh, around 8 to 13 degrees. Into uh, Sunday, we might start off with a few showers down in the southeast, but they'll go very quickly. And then England and Wales looks like having a dry day with sunny spells. Further north, the showers could become quite widespread and heavy through the course of Sunday afternoon. So Scotland and Northern Ireland may have some quite big showers tomorrow afternoon, possibly producing hail and thunder in one or two places. Temperatures ranging in the north from around 15 degrees to in the south, probably around 23. 23 is 73 in Fahrenheit. It's about average for the time of year. We're under a slight ridge on Monday, but the next area of low pressure and its attendant weather front will be signed heading from the Atlantic. So uh, although many places will probably start Monday on a dry and fine note with sunny spells, a veil of cloud is likely to spread across the country through the course of the day. And I would have thought we can expect outbreaks of rain to be set again across Ireland, uh, western parts of Wales and southwest England by the end of the day. Most of that rain is likely to be light and patchy, but again, there might be a few heavy burst mixed in as further north and east it just tends to uh, cloud over. First day of Wimbledon of course on Monday. It doesn't look too bad at all for the opening day. Temperatures I think they're going to be ranging uh, from around say uh, 15 again in the north probably 
to around 22 or 23 down in the south. Pleasantly warm and not too far from average. We have a bit of a weather front stuck across the central part of the country on Tuesday. So for Northern Ireland, Northern England, probably North Wales and the North Midlands, there could be quite a bit of rain around actually, outbreaks of rain on and off through much of the day, probably turning increasingly showery in nature during the course of the afternoon. Scotland looks mostly dry with sunny spells, and that leaves much of central southern England and Wales probably mostly dry again with uh, a fair amount of cloud, but a few spells of sunshine coming through. It could start to turn quite humid down in the south. Temperatures may be going to around 24, that's 75 in Fahrenheit. Um, under that band of rain, probably quite cool, no better than 17 or 18 and something like 17 or 18 degrees again in the sunshine for Scotland. That band of rain gets out of the way through the central sway of the country overnight Tuesday into Wednesday, and this is where the uncertainty starts to creep in. This is the latest one of the GFS. It's suggesting that for Wednesday we get a little bit of a build of pressure across the country, and the wind begins to start to push up from the south or the southeast. So this means that for England and Wales, have a lot of dry weather with sunny spells coming through during the course of Wednesday. The Scotland and Northern England, we might set off some thundery showers on uh, Wednesday afternoon. Temperatures probably increasing, maybe at around 26 or 27 in the south. That's going back towards the 80 Fahrenheit mark. And then as we move through into Thursday, we begin to pull up hotter air from the south again. Although it looks unstable, there's low pressure pushing out of Biscay and moving northwards in towards the UK. So although many parts of the country will probably start off dry with sunny spells on Thursday, there's every chance we might build up some big showers, probably thunderstorms breaking out on Thursday afternoon as temperatures maybe go up to around 28 degrees in the south. That's around 82 Fahrenheit into Friday, and it still looks very warm, if not perhaps locally hot in the south, and unstable with low pressure in situ across the country. So I think we could well be looking at more heavy showers or thunderstorms breaking out during the course of Friday. Uh, they could be fairly widespread. I mean, might be quite violent as well. So there's a risk of flash flooding, uh, lightning, hail, thunder. Uh, it could all be happening at the end of the week. There's a lot of energy in the atmosphere, if this is right. Temperatures might go up to around 30 degrees uh, somewhere like London. That's 86 Fahrenheit. It will be humid and uh, very unstable air masses. And that's what's producing the risk of those thunderstorms. Bear in mind, just once again, that the ECMWF, which is kind of like the other best model, that is not going for this thundery and hot weather at the end of the week. So is a, there is a chance that this won't come off. It's a low confidence forecast from Wednesday onwards. By the time we go through to first, uh, by the time we go through to next weekend, I should say, um, we're bringing a cold front southwards and eastwards across the country. So Saturday probably takes a band of rain south and east, introduces much cooler and fresher air from the north and the west. And by the time we go through to Sunday, we're back into a fresh Atlantic fr uh, flow. It's mostly dry down in the south, could be showery up in the north. Those temperatures returning back towards the early July average. If I just have a look at the charts on the weather outlook, loads of dry weather coming up today, but we have got the showery rain up in the north and the west. Still the risk of some showers uh, in the north and the west for Sunday, but a lot of dry weather with sunny spells. Those showers could turn quite heavy, maybe even a bit thundery across Scotland on Sunday afternoon. Monday, I think it's going to be a fairly pleasant day for many parts of the country. There could still be some uh, showery bursts of rain, led, particularly in the west and the southwest, but once again we have a lot of dry weather. They have that band of rain through the central swathe of the country on Tuesday. To the south it starts to turn more humid humid and that might set off some thundery showers through parts of the Midlands and eastern England actually on Tuesday afternoon but in the south it's a humid day in the north it's mostly dry and uh, fairly fresh and they've got that band of persistent rain through the central swathe of the country. Wednesday looks a nice day but temperatures are starting to push up and that might trigger some thundery showers for Scotland and northern England and then Thursday and Friday both days are looking very more very warm potentially even quite hot down in the south by Friday, but there is an increasing risk through the last stages of the week 
the setting off heavy showers, if not thunderstorms. They could be intense and violent uh, showers at the end of the week, possibly giving flash flooding. Lightning, hail and thunder is possible on Thursday and Friday, albeit this is a low confidence forecast this week because of a disagreement between the GFS and the ECMDF. So, in summary, we're looking at a fairly fresh start to uh, the period. A lot of dry weather around as well, although there will be some showery bursts here and there. Uh, we get through to the middle last stage of the week. Seems the temperatures could well be pushing up and turning very warm, if not locally hot, but with risk of thunderstorms by Thursday and Friday. Obviously, we'll keep you posted on all the developments in terms of thunder over the next few days. So uh, keep checking back to the website. And um, later on, we've got Terry Scully's uh, monthly forecast for July. That's going to be an interesting read. Tomorrow is the NAO forecast for the winter of 2017-2018. No Gauss Webb is Sunday roundup. I'll probably update the blog tomorrow uh, with the thundery potential if it's continuing uh, within the model. So uh, you won't miss out on uh, developments in the coming week tomorrow. Right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.